Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we talk about the hypertext transform protocol, which is uh, HTTP. Um, hypertext uh, HTTP or hypertext uh, transfer protocol is an application level protocol used primarily for transmitting information on the internet. It is uh, the foundation of data communication on the World Wide Web and serves as a standard uh, protocol for web browsers and uh, servers communication. So, in, in 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 easy way, when client want to connect with the server, they will connect with each other using HTTP. Um, um, the client will connect with the server using HTTP by its IP address of the server IP address, and the server will send back the the um, the, the 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 request. Um, with the head with with the, with the requested data, for example, the you are in, in in YouTube or you are in Facebook, and you want to to get the posts, so you will send as a client you will send a HTTP request to the server, and the server will send uh, to the Facebook server, and Facebook server will send you um, the posts as return. So it's it's um, as I said that it's a foundation of data communication uh, on the world web wide. So let's talk about why do we need it because it's it really needs to, you, you have to have some sort of knowledge of the http in 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 order to be succeeded in your system design interview so the first thing that i could say is that um, it's a centralized con uh, communication so http provides a sen uh, standardized uh, web way for web clients like browsers and web servers to communicate. These uh, standardization standardization ensure that diverse web technologies can work together seamlessly. Um, there is something also important about HTTP, which is it is seamless protocol, stateless uh, protocol. Uh, HTTP is a stateless, meaning each request from client to a server is treated as independent. This statelessness uh, simplifies the uh, simplifies interactions and allows servers to hand the request for many clients simultaneously. Um, also, it's a great in flexibility and extensibility. Flexibility and extensibility. So HTTP can transmit various types of data, not just hypertext. And this flexibility allows uh, allows it to be used for uh, a wide range of applications, including uh, transferring images, videos, and other file types. Additionally, HTTP can be extended to support new features. Um, number four, about why do we need uh, HTTP, which is it's a foundation for web technologies. Uh, many web technologies, including HTML, which is hypertext markup language, rely on HTTP for transmitting web pages and related content uh, for, from servers uh, to clients. There is another thing which is also huge: the HTTP supports for client-server uh, server model. So HTTP supports the client-server model, where clients, users, or browsers. Uh, initiate requests and servers respond with the appropriate content. This model is fundamental to how the internet operates. It's a great when it comes to universality. So HTTP is universally accepted and supported, uh, making it uh, the uh, de facto protocol for web for web communication. Almost every web application used uh, uses HTTP as basic building block. Um, it's a great also when it comes in caching, and this is a huge one. So um, HTTP uh, supports caching and proxies. HTTP includes features for uh, caching, which allows uh, frequently accessed web resources to be uh, stored temporarily in a cache closer to a uh, user. This reduces uh, the need for uh, repeated data transmission, improving efficiency and reducing latency. Um, lastly, I will say um, it's a uh, we need it for what we call layered architecture. So HTTP can work over any reliable trans uh, transport layer wh while it uh, typically operates over TCP, which is 
transmission con uh, control protocol. I, I, we talked about this one in the previous video. It can also be used over other protocols. Uh, this layered architecture adds to its flexibility and uh, adaptability. So in summary, HTTP is essential for uh, the, func the, functioning, the functioning of the World, web, uh, wide, the World Wide Web enabling the transfer of data and resources that make up web pages and uh, web applications. Its simplicity, extensibility, and um, universality make it, um, um, make it a backbone of the internet communication. So that's it for this video, and I hope you like my content. If you like my content, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video, and see you in future videos.